loves and welcome back to my channel pardon the voice I'm making a few videos even though I am sick as dog dog a dudge and um, I have a really crummy voice at least I have a voice but yeah so hopefully you guys can bear with me for my next few videos that they're gonna sound pretty crappy because I'm pretty sick so yeah yep anyway I'm coming to you guys with my May wantable box and I got this in the mail last week well I checked my PO box finally last week and yeah I was able to pick up all my mail and I had like six boxes waiting for me which was like Christmas to me but yeah anyway so I'm coming to you guys with my May wantable box I haven't opened it yet and I would like to know what's in here and I didn't open them because I was so busy doing so much this week and then getting sick. That's not helping. I'm just going to take out the paper with all the pricing in it. Okie doke. And I'm losing my hair over here. And it's hot. It is really warm tonight. And it is, uh, I think it's like after 8, 9 o'clock. And what time is it? I don't even know what time it is, to be honest. It is 10 o'clock at night. And anyway, I'm just going to get to it. The first thing I see here is a, another All Natural product. I've received three of their products or four of their products already. And this is an organic cream highlighter. I get a lot of their powder products. I don't know how I feel about that stuff. Um, I got a really pretty blood. Blah, 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 blah. I got a really pretty blush by them and it's just loose so I might just kind of stamp it down if I need to so anyway this is the packaging right here oh, okay so this is a stick oh and this is all the product you get this looks like a lot of packaging for such a little product but anyway let me swatch it, it looks homemade Oof! my gosh that is gold I don't know if you guys see that there. I mean, I don't know. That is a gold highlight right there. All right. This is definitely for that glowy summer look. You could pop it into the cheeks and the center of the face. Um, but, yeah, this is uh, really gold. It's like a yellow gold. Um, it does offset a little orange. And, yeah, it's not glittery at all. It's very metallic. So, I can dig it. I can dig it. The All Natural Organic Cream Highlighter Stick is $32. It's not something that I would purchase myself. So, I'm grateful for it in the box because I can give it a try. So, the next thing I see here just pops right out me. And it's a baby blue brush. And let me take it out of the packaging. It's a concealer brush, which I use these to pack on bases on my eyes and stuff like that. So I am grateful for it. Sorry, my hair keeps sticking to me. And it's so long that all it does is stick to my forearm. So, ill, it's gross. Anyway, this is a CETA brush. S-E-T-A. It doesn't say what kind of brush it is. Let me see here. A CETA eyeshadow brush. And the price for this is $18. I don't know how I feel about a brush being $18. Like, I don't know. I'm not one to talk because I have my Wayne Goss brushes, but this is not a brush that I would pay $18 for. It's a synthetic brush. I love the color. It's got that, like, almost Tiffany blue-green color, um, which I could dig. And I definitely can use some more brushes. Not really. I have so many, but I like brushes, so. But I don't think I would pay $18 for that. So the next thing I see here is from Eddie Funkhauser, and it is a ultra definition bronze and sculpting powder and it's in pyramid bronze okay how do I open this oh is this it oh there we go so that is it right there's really really pretty actually it's got some like pinky hues to it let's swatch it all together and make a mess of it I don't know what I think about that. It's definitely got some some cool tones to it, but it's also very pinky. I don't know. Well, I put that swatch over something else. Let me do this again. It's very powdery. It does leave like a nice glow. It's not shimmery at all by any means. This could be something I can contour with, but I would probably use this more as a blush, like a neutral blush. Um, it does leave kind of like a pinky hue. I could probably put it like right above my contour and give it that nice rosy, uh, bronzy look. But I don't know. I mean, I like the powder. It's very, very uh, finely milled. It's very soft and velvety. I like that. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know about the color. I don't know. 
we'll have to see, right, on the face. <laughs> Ultra Definition Bronze and Sculpt Powder um, is $12.99. That's not expensive at all. I think that's actually really good. It, oh, okay, so it's a multitasking bronzer, blusher, highlight, and contour powder, all in one convenient, convenient compact, five custom shades, combined matte. So, okay, I get that. That I can that I can dig it. Like, if you use it individually, um, because, oh, I made a mess of it. But, you know, <laughs> you can use it individually. But together, it does give, like, that nice, almost coppery, golden, reddish color. I don't know. It, this will be pretty blush. That I know for a fact. Next thing I have here is a Frankie Rose Cosmetics. I've received some of their items. Their lip liners, off the hook. I love their lip liners. Um, and this one's a Limitless Waterproof Gel Liner. And this big old box, hell, oh my god, it is packaged, look at this, it is packaged as if it were jewelry. What is this, what color is this? It's in bombshell, the color's in bombshell. Is this a brush? Oh, this has its own little brush, that is cool. Common sense, there you go. Ooh, I think I might like this brush, it's thin right in the center and it's slanted, what? Whoa, I love me some gel liners. I can't even. Um, the color in this is brown. I don't know if you guys can see that there. I'm looking at my viewfinder. Um, it looks brown. I'm going to take a little piece. Or a lot of piece. Yep, it's brown. It's a brown. I, I actually love my brown liners, especially on days that I'm wearing more of a bronzy look. I definitely go for the brown liner. The only thing is it looks really light on me because I have these black cow eyes. So, I don't know. But I do love my brown liners. I use them all the time. I use them on brides. I use them for, like, light everyday looks. I, it just really, really looks really pretty. And on the inner corner and the waterline, it looks really, really good. Yes. Did I say inner corner? I meant the waterline and the tight line. That's what I meant. Whatever. Hopefully y'all got it. <laughs> so let me see how much this is. This is the Frankie Rose Limitless Waterproof Gel Eyeliner. And it is supposed to be waterproof, smudge proof, and crease free. And it is $24, um, which is probably a good price for something that's higher end anyway. Um, but that's a lot of product in those pots, so that should last you a while. Um, so the total for this collection was $86.99. I pay, you pay $40 a month. If you have the membership, it's $36 a month for the Wantable Box. I absolutely love my Wantable Box. I love getting full-size products. Um, I'm okay with samples, but sometimes I just really like the products and I like the fact that I have the full size of it so I don't have to like repurchase right away so that is a plus so anyway my favorite item I actually will say is the Eddie Funkhauser um, sculpting powder I think I'm gonna use this as a nice summery blush and even for the winter for that nice I don't know edgy brown with the pale skin and the eyeliner that's a plus um, I'm not really too into the highlight but I will put it to use I usually always do but anyway guys that's pretty much it for my May Wantable box I hope you guys like this video please thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and as always I'll see you guys in my next video I love you guys bye